Like, what are your what are your top guys? Give me your top five right now. Right. So, if I was going to give you a, a bias top five, then Sami Zayn would be number one. However, uh, if it wasn't for Roman Reigns, then then Sami Zayn or Jey Uso would not be in this conversation. So I do have to put Roman at number one, so simply for that fact. Just because number two would be yeah. Sami Zayn. Uh, number three, Jey Uso. Uh, four, LA Knight, and five, Gunther. Solid, solid. Um, I gotta, I gotta say, uh, d- the two that I have with yours is uh, definitely LA Knight. LA Knight might be my number one. I think he's the. I think he, if they do it right, he's going to be the biggest star of this decade. He's going to be the guy. I know if they do it right, I, I I have a feeling he's going to be another Dolph Ziggler. The the only thing that works against him is his age, but he has everything. He has the promo. He has the work. He has the look. He actually comes off as a star. He has everything. He has the full package. I don't. I don't but so so did so did Dolph and and. and they they use him for enhancement talent, and it feels like they're using LA Knight for enhancement talent only. I gotta I gotta dis- Dolph- I gotta disagree that he's he, that Dolph is on that level. I think Dolph was missing something. I can't put my finger on it, but he was missing a promo. I don't think he had a good promo. He he was a good talker, but he didn't have a great promo. Like he was missing that it factor. I think. I don't know. He, he, he could he could have been a lot bigger than than what he is though. Uh, Definitely that, yeah. But I, I think his selling worked against him. The the, the found that he was a good seller, and they're like, right, we're, we're going to use you for enhancement talent only. We're going to use you to make the new guys look good, and you're going to lose everything. It's it, it's just his age that makes me think that. That's the only thing. Um, did you see the uh the promo? Peter Ortiz just brought it up in my chat. Um, the promo from Raw. Where they did the quintessential, everybody comes out and interrupts each other, and the cut yeah, promo. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw that. The react, the reaction he got was was on levels of the Rock and Stone Cold. It was electric, bro. When he came out, it it changed the whole feeling of the show almost. And then he comes out and just cuts this like easily cuts this promo that destroys everybody. And he's he stood out. He stood out. He ne- I think he needs to win the money in the bank. Everyone thinks he needs to win it, but uh, I, I, I don't know who's winning. I did say in a short that I think it's it's going to be Damian Priest. But now, now that they've added Logan Paul in, I'm, I'm really unsure now. But maybe that's what they are doing. They they put Logan Paul in to make us unsure to swerve us, and then maybe LA Knight does win. But we'll see. I hear what their uh, their initiative right now is. They're trying to make the bloodline, not the bloodline, the uh, Judgment Day, almost the new bloodline as far as like the stable that runs that show. Because um, I think if you've seen, they they just put Finn into the uh, the world title picture with uh, with Seth. Yeah, and and they tried they tried to get him to cut cut a heartfelt promo, and it didn't work because the the crowd was was not letting him. Uh, sorry, say that again. I didn't because they were, I think last week uh, they they got him to try and cut this promo uh, to to say he's get, they're going to get his revenge from SummerSlam when when Seth injured him, and he was he was trying to talk, and the fans just kept singing and interrupting him, and it, it's the fans singing Seth's theme while wrestlers are talking is more annoying than the watch chant. He, I, I haven't gotten that annoyed by it yet. The what chant just really, really got to me at to, at a point. Um, I I don't mind that because that's almost the like the shtick the fans are playing with the Judgment Day because they do that a lot with Dominic where they don't let him talk. Um, and that could work like almost like if you remember Kurt Angle when they used to do that to him, he would play off on the what chant a lot and it would be hilarious. He was the only one that would do that. Yeah, well, with Dom, it's because he actually has a real heel heat, and people enjoy booing him, and and that that's 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 his stick. He he he, uh, he goes to talk, he gets booed, he laughs it off, and and continue that. But what what they did with Finn, it felt like the fans just 
didn't care what he was saying, and and, and they made him look look chump. He he, he 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 didn't look like he should be taken seriously. Fair enough. But, but he. He, he rectified. He sort of rectified that this week because he he, he did a pretty good attack on Seth. So uh, he's, he's he's fixed that a little bit. Now that you're saying that, maybe that's why they did that because he did yeah. look like weak to the fans. So it was almost like, all right, we got to kind of open their eyes a little bit, make them take Finn seriously. So I mean, yeah, yeah it could. Uh, I mean. I, I've never been a Finn Balor fan. I've always uh, kind of despised him because I just I I think he's a great wrestler, uh, but his his promos. I'm a promo guy, so I agree with you. Like I, I I see on like where the fans could probably it not being the shtick. They just really didn't give a fuck about listening to to Finn Balor because I agree with you. Yeah. He's just droning sometimes. <laughs> Well, he, he he was trying, and and they just wasn't letting him get anything out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody keeps blowing up the chat. Aaron Aldana, who do you think will win today in a tag team match? The Hardys versus the Gun. Who's the Gun? The uh, I the think he's talking about uh, Billy Billy Gun's sons. The guns. I don't know. That's uh, it's not real. It's like that a real competition, so I couldn't tell you. Like, I don't like those questions because it's like, it's whoever the booker decides wins. Yeah, I, I I get these questions a lot from from my fans, but yeah, I, my friends who are uh, casuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I I randomly get a, me- a message from from one of them, and he says, "Who do you think will win?" <laughs> Roman Reigns or Batista? I would say Roman to shut him up. You're right. I always, I always uh, take it from the standpoint they're probably asking if it was a real fight, who would win? Uh, well, well, the Hardys are pretty old, and and, and they've all got uh, yeah, but yeah, it, it, issues with 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 the bodies. Uh, if it was a real fight, the 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 guns would probably. Beat the shit out of the Hardys because they're old. Hold, hold on, though. Let me give you a caveat. The Hardys versus the Guns, but Jeff Hardy is on mass amounts of cocaine. <laughs> that's, that's a whole different story now. Uh, no, no I, 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 I think if Jeff was on mass amounts of cocaine, he'd probably try and say, no, 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 we don't need to fight. I have a line of this and we can chill out. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there'll be any fighting. Yeah, that, then I would end with them all jumping off of something together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is going to be cool. Y- yeah, I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. They were mad we ignored it. But that's why I ignored it. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a question you can answer. You got to give me some context to it. 